I don't know if anybody happens to watch The X Factor, but uh, we have uh, a, a former winner on tonight as a featured artist. He's uh, coming out with a new single, and it's really cool because he's doing everything independently, which, you know, after an experience like that, you know, it, you, you would think that he would, like, you know, tend to just sort of be like, yeah, I'm cool now. You know, I don't have to do much. But he's, like, in a band, and he's coming out with a new single, and he's doing it all on his own, which is awesome. So, Alex Kenzie, welcome to the show, my friend. How you doing? I am great. How are you guys? Awesome. Very, very good. So as I told you before, this is sort of where uh, we just let the featured artist give a your elevator pitch. You know, imagine nobody's heard of you or your music or anything like that. And they walk up to you and say, oh, hi, Alex. I heard you're in a band. What's it like? That's what I want you to do right now. And then tell us a little bit about Simple. We'll take a listen and come back and get deeper with Dave. Go ahead. All right, cool. So I am Alex Kinsey, but I go by Kinsey now. I don't really know what I go by. I'm still figuring all that out. Um, <laughs> But I'm in a band called Botox. I'm doing stuff solo. I'm writing and recording. I'm singing. I've been playing shows, uh, little ones here and there. But I, I just, I don't know. I've always wanted to do music. And here I am at 27 getting to do it. And I don't know. I'm pretty, pretty happy to be here. I'm happy to be on with you guys. I'm happy to be uh, sitting in a studio around guitars. And it's cool. Life's good, you know? Nice. Nice. Cool. So tell us just briefly about Simple. What, you know, this is your new single. It's, you know, I think your first one since shit went down or whatever. I don't know, but. <laughs> um, yeah. First, first uh, ever like real solo single. Um, simple is, is as soon as I heard it, it was like, okay, this is the song. Uh, my buddy hit me up. Who's also the other half of Botox. And uh, he hit me up and he goes, dude, I've got this idea for a song. What do you think? I was like, yeah, that's the one. Let's do it. Let's make it right. So the last, I guess about a year or so, uh, we've been working on it, trying to get the right version together. And I, I'm just, like I said, though, as soon as I heard that song, I go, oh, this kind of tells the story without me having Johan to Lindbrandt. You got to give him a Johann. shout out, right? Yeah, Johan. Well, you know, he lives in Sweden. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. He's <laughs> you never know. People see the show in Sweden. Cool. So yeah. let's go ahead and check out Simple. And uh, we'll come back and deeper with Dave. Uh, share this video out. Let us know in the comments what you think. I want to thank DM and P. Hefner and Barbara and everybody hanging out with us. Thanks for hanging out. Share the video out. We'll be right back. So I've been called the Simon Cowell of the indie music scene for my <laughs> <laughs> brutally honest reviews sometimes. So I'm, I'm reading your Wikipedia page. It's like mentored by Simon Cowell. How was that experience? It's very similar. It feels very yeah. similar to this conversation here. <laughs> okay. Um, no, was what, what was the experience like, like after season three? I mean, he, did he actually work with you guys and like help develop your sound? Like how involved was he? 
Uh, he was very involved on the show and was the sweetest person. I mean, he was really a genuinely nice person on the show and would take care of us and would take me out to dinner. I mean, it was really great. But then I think I spoke to him one time after the, sh- after the show and, uh, and then never again. So. Interesting. <laughs> so he must have paid a writer yeah. to go say he mentored you. All right. We'll look into that. Right, after. yeah. So, well, he did mention this during the show, though. But, yeah, just afterward. I was a little disappointed in our lack of relationship. <clears throat> All right, man. We only have so much time here, so I'm going to try to get some good stuff here. You go through this experience, it basically become famous almost overnight, right? Winning season three, yeah. wow. you're – the stock chart of Alex Kinsey just like goes to the roof, goes to the moon and everything. I'm sure you had a good time. You had fun, you know, for the period afterwards. Talk about the experience from that point to now, just like the peaks and the valleys. What, what's it been like since that? I mean, it's been, it's been a wild ride. It was five years ago and counting now. And it, it just feels, it feels like yesterday and a completely different lifetime, if that makes any sense. Um, but, I, you know, after the show, we moved straight out to L.A. and started working on an album. And the album was then released. And I went on a couple of tours. And it was like dream come true. It was amazing. And then the label dropped us and management dropped us. And it was like, all right, well, let's, you know, let's figure this out for a little while. And we did for a couple more years and went on another tour and released another album. And it was just, I mean, dream come true still. And then... Alex and Sierra over and Botox has started now at this point. And okay, it's, but, it's that's this the, but it's two separate projects, right? Botox and then right. Alex Kinsey solo project. Are you just kind of doing them both right now? Yeah, it's right in the middle of both. Uh, so we're actually releasing a song of Botox in May and I'm hope, hoping to release the EP in May as well for Kinsey. So it's, it's two completely separate projects, but simultaneous. Okay, cool. So Yo- Johan actually wrote some of your old stuff with Alex and Sierra, and then you just kind of kept in touch and you continue making music together. Is that it? Exactly. Yeah. So he helped us with the second album and uh, we wrote that and he produced the whole thing and he and I just really clicked. And then we went to Vegas together and got real drunk and we're like, we can make a band, man. Let's just... <laughs> so we did it. And here we are. <laughs> That's awesome, band man. start. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was just looking at the Google page. I'm like, just kind of doing a little research and uh, search is related. Alex Kinsey, death. Alex Kinsey, nuts. It's like, what? All people care about it. They just want to know if you're still alive. I want to call it. Paul McCartney of this generation. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. But all right. What else I got for you? So, well, first of all, dude, your sound. I, I really want to know how you got that effect on your vocals man dude i really love this tune uh your voice sounds amazing I, I couldn't tell if it was like a some type of octave effect that gave it that low end or maybe some type of like it was like the perfect amount of rasp raspiness in your voice yeah i actually i the the longer i sing the more raspy my voice gets so i think that, that must have just been about 10 takes in by the time we got that but um you know, how involved I, are you in the mixing process did are you hands off or are you in there Mixing and mastering, that's way too much minutia for me. I'm not great at the monotony of mixing and mastering. However, the production side of things, uh, usually Johan and I will just sit in the same room together and we'll work on something until it makes sense. But like specifically in the Botox songs, if you ever hear live instruments, for the most part, that's me just sort of playing along, plucking on stuff, and Johan will go, oh, that's the, that's the stuff that we need right there. So with, with Simple, it was a similar thing. But then I just sing it and he takes, he takes it and makes it sound good. Okay. So he, Johan's doing the mixing as well. He's like so, running the boards. So he, yeah. Johan is full producer. Like he, he does most of the Botox stuff to finish. And then we send it off for mastering simple was done. And then we met a mixer that had done a bunch of, a bunch of other uh, big, big songs. His name is An- Anton and he is incredible. So we, we got him to remix simple and it just it turned out a little bit better but it wasn't you know substantially different. all right cool man i mean uh, what what's the plan like the rest of this year is it basically just like t- start to try and tour around the new stuff or are you just kind of taking it day by day ideally i'd love to go on tour touring is my that being on stage is where i belong all of all of this creation of music is to get on a stage however i want to do it at the right time so 
in about a month, I'm going to release another single. And then in May, I'm shooting to release uh, at least four song EP. Um, and then we'll see where it goes after that. I just like making it and putting it out. All right, dude, last question. So uh, obviously in the past few years, you've kind of done some research. You've seen advances in technology, which enables independent artists to basically manage their own career. If you yeah. do it right, you get a couple of good people around you to help with uh, PR and management and everything. Is this where you want to stay? Or are you like want to sign with a major or something? Um, you know, I, I love the ability to make my own decisions. So I, I mean, as of now, and I'm, I don't, there's no reason for me to do anything different. But right. I'm never opposed to the right opportunities. You know, I gotcha. think part of this w world and this job is you have to be open to whatever. Well, I'm sure some people will be uh, hitting you up after the show. It's just Thank my, you. my prediction, but all right. So where can people find you? Are you active on social? Yep, you can find me at Alex Kinsey on Twitter or Instagram and uh, Spotify if you search Kinsey and Simple. My, my artist name is now Kinsey, so we're, we're trying that one out for a little while. All right, it's been established. Alex, it's been a pleasure chatting with you, man. Very Thank excited you. about your future stuff. Please come back. Be a critic. Become the next Simon Cowell. I'm here. I'm all yeah. for it. Thank you.